problem uh, 58, page 146. Here we have a block. Uh, let's say we have M equals to two is released from rest. It means uh, V initial equals to O. Let's say this point is A and the uh, point at the bottom equals to B. So the initial point VA equals to zero, it was at rest, okay? M per second. Uh, the height of the point A from the table equals to 0.5. Uh, with an inclined plane angle equals to 30. Uh, the incline has a friction. So uh, we don't have interaction between the object and the inclined plane. We have a frictionless incline. So mu equals to zero. First of all, uh, and the height of the table equals to two meter. Now I want to calculate uh, the acceleration A between the point A and B. Uh, part B, we have to calculate the speed of the velocity at the point B, okay? Uh, C, I want to find the position uh, of this point where the object uh, hits the ground, we have to, uh, to find X and Y of C. Uh, D, how much time has uh, elapsed uh, between when the block is released and when it hits the floor. We have to find the total time between A and C. So part D, we have to find the time between A and C, which is equal to the time between A, B, plus the time between B and C. Okay, uh, the part between B, uh, B and C is a projectile. N normally it's not required uh, for you this year, okay? But uh, we can solve it. Uh, uh, after uh, we have A, B, C, D, E, does the mass of the block affect any of the above calculations? Okay, let's begin with, with part A. Here, uh, part A, I need to calculate the acceleration. In general, we have uh, X final. Let's say here we have point B and the initial one, we have point A. I am not sure we can use uh, the kinematics equations to calculate uh, the value of A. We can try X uh, final minus, and X final, you can say X at any point, minus X initial equals to half a x t square plus v initial x t, okay? And uh, v final x minus v initial x equal a x times t and so on. We can say here v final square x minus v initial x square equal to a x x final minus x initial. Let's say we have between the point A and B. You know the first equation, we don't have the distance, we don't have the time, and uh, uh, I want to calculate A. We cannot use it because we have uh, three unknowns. Uh, part B, we don't have V final, we don't have time, so we cannot use it. And the third equation, we don't have velocity, we don't have position, so we have three unknowns by one equation. So uh, I, I think 
we cannot use these equations to uh, calculate uh, A. I advise you to use the Newton's law in order to calculate A. At any point, you have here uh, uh, mg, mgx, mgy. Uh, here you have the line of motion in this direction. And we have y, x and y. So the positive must be in this direction. We have n applied on the object. So we can say here the summation of f, we have n uh, plus m g x plus m g y equals to m a. We said before, in the case of the inclined plane, m g x equal m g sine theta and m g y equal m g cosine theta. So uh, in function of x axis, we have uh, m g x, we have just m g x, okay? So m g x i in the positive direction and uh, n uh, minus m g y in function of j equal m a, a in the positive direction, okay? Like this a. We have a x, we don't have a y. So m g x equals to m a. You know that m g x equal m g sine the angle, okay? Equals to m a. We can cancel M and M. We get finally A equal uh, G equal to 10 times sine 30 equal to half. We get finally 5 M per second square. This is the value of A equals to 5 M per second square. Okay. Now, if you substitute A by any uh, one of these equations, we can calculate the time, we can calculate the velocity at the point B, you can calculate the distance, okay? Uh, so, here. Okay, now I ask you to calculate VB at the point B. You can use the, uh, uh, I think this equation, we don't have time, we can use it. Uh, okay, let's say here, uh, I am talking between A and B. So V final, VB square minus V initial, VA square, I don't need to write x because we have just one dimension. A equal ax, vbx equal vb, vax equal va. So uh, here we have two a, uh, x final minus x initial is the distance between them, okay? The distance between b and a. Uh, if you look here, the distance between a and b. This distance, D, uh, we can say sine the angle equals H divided by the distance. So D equals to H divided by sine 30 equals to uh, H equal 0 0.5 divided by half. We get five I think, uh, times two, 10 equal to, okay, we have uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meter, okay, times two. 
okay, uh, we get one meter. Uh, so, okay, we get one meter. So uh, initial velocity equal to zero because it was at rest. We can calculate VB equals two, two A, uh, two A times D times one. Uh, so it's equal to radical 10, about 3.1 m per second okay this is vb v b equals to 3.1 m per second it's in the x direction as you see here uh, v must be tangent to the line of motion this line of motion vb must be like this okay you can say like this Okay, this is V B. Okay, uh, V B equal to three point one. Now, uh, before maybe I will be, uh, I, I need to calculate the time between A and B. We can substitute here directly uh, V at the point B minus V at the point A equal A times T. So the time between A and B equals VB, which is equal to uh, 3.1, okay? Uh, divided, by, uh, divided by A, equal by A we get the time between A and B, we calculate, we get 0.62 second. So we add here TAB equals to 0.62 second, okay? Now I want to calculate the position of the uh, point C, okay, the point C, uh, now, uh, between B and C, we have a projectile motion. Normally, it's not required uh, this year. Uh, and I don't want to give you this uh, part uh, of uh, projectile. But I will continue to solve this problem. Uh, here, we can say we are calculating uh, the height of B equals to capital H equal to two, here equal to two meter. Uh, for the uh, projectile part, here we have the initial position X and Y. Uh, VB has uh, VBX and VBY. And you know, with the uh, inclined plane, we have the inclined plane and the angle here is theta. So theta equals to 30. We can say here VBX equal VB cosine theta and VBY equal VB sine theta, okay? Uh, now I want to calculate XC. You know uh, X and Y. Uh, I have Y, but I need X. Uh, we can write XC minus XB equals to have AXT square plus V initial XT, okay? We can write like this, uh, the X component and Y C minus Y B equals to have A Y T square plus V B Y T. Look here, 
uh, the first equation, you know, in the case of projectile, we take the initial point as a reference. So xc, xb equal to zero and yb equal to zero. And also the x component of a equals to zero. Okay. And so here, ax equal to zero, ay equals to minus j, minus uh, g. Uh, but uh, to calculate xc, I need to calculate t. Let's uh, take the second equation. yb equals to zero. yc, you know, the center is at the, at the point b. yc equals to minus two, minus two. So yc equals to minus two meter. A y equal minus G, V B Y equal V B sine theta. So we can calculate a T from this equation. We can calculate T. We substitute the value of T here in this equation to get the value of X C. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Y C. Let's take this equation. Yc minus two equals to half. Ay equal minus g uh, minus g. Uh, T square plus Vby equal Vb sine theta. Vb sine theta. T. Okay, we can calculate T by the calculator. We get, okay, T equal uh, 0.45 second. We write here T between B and C equals to 0.45 second. We calculated T, we can substitute this value in, the, in this equation. Okay. We have uh, XC equals to VBX equal VB cosine theta, VB cosine theta times T. Uh, I am talking between B and C. T equal 0.45. We get XC equals to 1.35 meter. Okay. The total time between uh, A and C equals uh, TAB plus TBC. Uh, TAB equals to 0.62. We calculate its value here. Uh, plus TBC equal 0.45, we get the final uh, value equals to 1.14 second. This is the total uh, time needed for the object to move from the point A to C, okay? Uh, the last uh, part, I ask you if the mass will affect uh, the result. No, it doesn't affect because uh, these equations, uh, uh, we don't have uh, the mass in these equations, okay? So uh, we don't have any effect of the mass. Uh, no effect to the mass of the mass to the result. Thank you.